what's up YouTube it's Carolina Calvin and you know I saw somebody post it on Twitter and it brought up a pretty it was a pretty interesting question uh how would you know in today's you know, social media world where you know everything is scrutinized and or overpraised um how would Michael Jordan be treated you know if his career went exactly you know as it obviously did um, you know, starting from '84 all the way up into '98, um, then to uh, to the early 2000s, he came back for the Wizards. How, how would this, how would social media? Because by that time he was a wizard. Social media really wasn't isn't definitely not even close to what it is today. How would he be treated? You know, if his career went the same by social media? And I honestly think. It kind of draws comparisons similar to like how they, how how LeBron was treated, you know, where early on in his career, you know, he didn't win any rings. Um, I think Jordan would have been treated similar to that. Um, people would have probably been just as harsh, mainly because you know, and it's kind of it's very hard, you know, to compare it with anyone else from today because you know. A lot of things. Even back then, he got you know. If you look at, you know, you look at TV even back then. You know, a lot of the people who watched TV back then, especially in the mid to late '80s, will tell you that Jordan. It, it was like you know, a guy who leads the league in scoring can't win championships, or they were like, um, but they were comparing him to Magic and the success of Magic and Bird and. He got a lot of shit. I mean, obviously he didn't get the shit from social media where you, you got guys. LeBron does. He does anything wrong. You will see memes made about it. You will see uh, Vine videos. You will see all of it. You know, Photoshop pictures. All, you will see all that to scrutinize every single thing he does. So he, he really can't. He really can't, can't fuck up. And before, I think it really affected him. Now he doesn't care. And I think that's really how you should be. But you know, Jordan was a guy who, you know, didn't win early on in his career. So I think he would be very scrutinized, especially you know, a lot of times. Even back then, he was being compared to Magic and Bird. And see, and, and the thing about that. That's where a lot of his scrutiny really came from because a lot of people wanted because they knew how how good he was even back then. But a lot of people were like, well, you know, Magic has this amount of rings, Bird has this amount of rings, and what like what what did Michael during that time have? And you know, he didn't really didn't have anything. He didn't have the teams to you know like those guys to win. Um, so I I, I think he would be very. It would turn from scrutiny. Until you know, leading up to the '90s, overpraise. You know, obviously we know everything he accomplished in the '90s. You know, two three peats. Um, you know, four MVPs from '91 to '98. Yeah, four MVPs, and you also got to include the one he won in um, it was '87. Um, he he would like as I said, he would get he would get heavily criticized. During the seven year span, he didn't win. But when he did win, you know, a lot of people would have shut up. You know, you still had those guys. Even today, you got people that talk about Jordan. And you'll have those guys who just try to t pull, reach, and grab for anything to try to diminish everything, what the guys accomplished. I couldn't imagine what they would say back then. Um, and you had those guys. I couldn't imagine what those guys would have been saying back then. You know, if they would watch basketball during you know the mid late eighties and him not winning. I couldn't imagine it. But you know, a lot of times it comes from people who, every time something brought up, they all, they always like to bring up Jordan and I. You know, I kind of understand that. I'm a big Jordan fan myself, but I necessarily don't like to bring them up in every debate. Now, if someone talks about them, um, or someone talks about all time greats, or you know, somebody talks about old games or something like that. Or if they bring up the topic of MJ, then I'll talk about it. But more, more times than not, I really don't bring it up. Um, obviously because I just complete. I hate comparisons. I hate comparisons to old players. I mean, just leave those guys alone. I mean, sports media, as, as much as people hate 
uh, players playing t today to be compared to players playing back then. Sports media. Then you have these assholes where nothing is mentioned about um, you know a comparison to an older player. They'll say, well, so and so player is better than Jordan. And Jordan is the, the most common name brought up. You know, because everybody knows how popular he was. He's the most common name brought up. And people love to make the comparison. And those are the same people who complain about the comparison in the first place. And yet they'll bring it up when it's when you know X player has this, you know, a great game, they'll bring it up. Well, this guy's just as good as Jordan. You you'll you'll hear it a lot. I mean went on social media. And yeah, that was my phone. Um, when on social media, you'll see a lot of that, man. People just like to bring up Jordan. People like to bring up the older players in general, but just mainly him. Um, but I think it would eventually turn to overpraise in the '90s once you, you know, once you started winning rings, and you would have those guys who just can't stop talking about Jordan. I think that's how it would be. Um, obviously, the guy. The guy, in my opinion, is the greatest player of all time. Um, but there, you know, you can pick Kareem. Kareem is really close to Jordan. And a lot of people, a lot of people like to diminish Kareem, but Kareem was re really close. But I, I still give Jordan the edge because of the Finals MVPs. But social media, you know, no matter how good a player is doing or how great his game was, social media, you know, people on social media, it just really showcases hatred for someone else and obviously because a lot of time the hatred stems from how much you know what what the fans of that player say and you got the over the top fans like the Kobe fans and what they say that's where a lot of his hate comes from not Kobe the player but we got people who say Kobe the player Kobe the person but it, it's mainly what his fans say it's mainly what the fans say and it's what the, you know the media perception especially in comparison with Joy. That's one of the main things what people don't like about you know players of today, um, and the kind of reason why the comparison is always brought up, it's, you know, trash, you know, trash ass ESPN or BSPN, whatever you want to call it, you know, they love to bring up comparisons because it's gonna get them ratings, it's gonna get the fanboys riled up. You know, I don't watch it; it's trash, um, and you should stop watching ESPN as well. But they like to. They'll bring up the comparisons. You know, I seen them bring up the Durant comparisons where they were comparing, uh, what was it, uh, Durant's um, first MVP to Jordan, you know, what their numbers were that year. Ugh. I'm sick of comparisons. I mean, just just let it go. Let the guy stay retired. I mean, obviously, we won't talk about it less than that. It's still going to be talked about. Obviously, you're going to have those people who just hate that player for you know, whatever reason they make their own. You know, I don't like the coverage of today's players. I, you know, the guys get put on a pedestal, man. You know, guys get put on a pedestal, and then you got these fans who don't follow teams, man. They follow players, man. Back in the day, man, guys follow. You know, you had the guys that follow players, but guys like the teams, man. And that, that's changed, man. It's, it's all becoming, you know, it's definitely becoming superstar oriented, and the NBA has made sure they've, uh, that's what they try to advertise. I mean, superstars sell tickets. I understand that, but that seems like they don't thing to talk about. They don't talk about team ball. You know, it's all about highlights and uh, just a lot of stupid crap. I mean, superstars. You know, watching them. You know, watching other superstars battle against another. It's always exciting basketball. But to me, it comes down to you know, I want to see good team offense. I mean, I'm, I'm guess I'm in the minority with that, but. Um, the video went on for nine minutes. I'm sick of talking. Um, how do you think Jordan would be treated today on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, whatever social media you decide to think of? How do you think he'd be treated in today's 2014 if he played and his career went exactly as you know as it did? Um, and I said I think you know it'd be like a roller coaster, kind of like how LeBron's being treated. Um, that's pretty much all I want to talk about. Um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. I'm out.